normally do in the new year um, previously to that um, Christmas Eve I'll come up and put some flowers on when I visit my mum and dad um, it is I'll come up in the new year and wish them happy new year too so this is where I am at the moment I'm currently walking towards the grave and um, I know my sister has put some, some flowers and things on and it's looking quite pretty actually there you go let's have a look Molly there you are Happy New Year, ma'am. I hope, uh, hope you've uh, had peace there. And wherever you are, you've had a good Christmas and, and all that. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard when we lose loved ones, isn't it? It's been three years now, and I think it's been about 16, 17 years since I lost that. And I got another grave over, over there um, with my, my sister and uh, my nan in my sister was only little and i think she was about three then anyway new year it makes us reflect on the past um especially on the past year and um what we tend to do is we put together um some new year's resolutions now, i don't believe in resolutions as you've heard me say before because i don't believe that anything is resolute so you set yourself some achievable goals that you would like to achieve and with the flexibility of movement within these goals because there's nothing sure let me just shut this gate there you are. <laughs> nothing sure that we we're not going to achieve everything we want to achieve in the time scale that we've set ourselves so the best thing to do is say, yeah, this is what I'd like to do this year or whatever. I'll make it achievable. Don't go putting too much pressure on yourself. There's no point saying to yourself, let's go into weight loss. There's no point saying to yourself, I'm going to lose five stone this year. And is that achievable goal? Well, it may be for some people, but not for all. So you could say to yourself, oh, maybe I want to lose 14 pound or a stone. And that's very achievable. And then when you reach that goal, you could go, yeah, okay, I've done that now. I mean, I'm really happy with myself. So I'm going to go, I move forward. I'm going to lose another stone and do it that way. That's, that's how we do things in life. Do things in little bits and chunks and achieve things. Because every time you achieve something, it makes you feel good about yourself. There's, not, there's nothing worse than setting yourself a goal and you can never get to the goalpost or you know you can never ad achieve that dream or you can't uh, 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 save that type of money because something has happened with your job, you've lost your job or you've had your hours cut or, or whatever. So set yourself little goals, little achievements and give yourself a little reward every time you do that because there's nothing nicer than you know rewarding yourself you've got to reward yourself and there's nothing wrong with that and you've got to you've got to say to yourself well done well done you for doing that because that's what really spurs you on and don't knock yourself back um if for some reason that you haven't done that don't go say oh i haven't done it and you know i, I feel terrible never never say anything negative about yourself because Negativity breeds negativity, and then you get to a point and you just, just want to give up. People rushing around today. And um, always say to yourself, well, I've done my best. At least, at least I've done that much. I'm, I'm happy with that. Now, what I need to do now is reassess my goals, reset the, t the schedule or the time scale, and I'm gonna go for it again because I've done it this much this time I'm gonna try and double that next time and if you do it's great give yourself a pat on the back if you don't stop you know give yourself a tap on the back for doing what you've done reset start again that's the only way to succeed the only way to succeed there's no such thing as failure it's just that you haven't succeeded yet and if the more you keep at it the more constant you are and the more perseverance you give to it the closer you're going to get to that goal and guess what 
you will achieve what you believe you will to set yourself maybe two two little goals that you could achieve two little goals that um that, that you want to achieve and make a note of them so i'll share with you two of my goals that i'd set myself uh last year one was to to lose weight which i have achieved I'm, i must admit thanks to weight watchers and um support of my lovely wife but what you should do um or you could do not should do nobody should do anything what you could do like i did is i didn't want to take a picture of myself with my big fat belly hanging out and stick it in the cupboard um with all the food so every time i opened the food cupboard i'd see a big picture of myself and my big belly sticking out now to me i was i was quite embarrassed about that so what i decided to do was measure my waist and it was 38 inches and i thought to myself right every two weeks i'm going to measure my waist and i'm going to write those figures down and to see the actual decrease in size of my waist i'm now at uh, 34 so it's taken me a while but four inches is a lot and what that does is when somebody opens a cupboard all they can see is numbers it's not really relevant i didn't want people to open the cupboard and see a big picture of me with my big fat belly hanging out that's something something you could try in fact measure different parts of your body your arms your thighs your waist your hips your chest you know whatever write those measurements down and every so often then just um check them and then write them down and keep a note of that and every time you've achieved say a loss of a couple of centimeters or an inch or whatever even even if it's just a quarter of an inch give yourself a tap on the back and say well done because you're going in the right direction you're going in the right direction the other thing i promised myself i would do last year was besides my own personal goals this this is my like my 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 healthy living goals i'm talking about there was a couple of other goals personal goals but i'm not going into those is that um i wanted to try a different food um product or um like i, I couldn't eat bananas for the life of me I couldn't eat bananas so i set myself a target that once a month i would try a new food stuff um bananas avocados all those type of things salmon i couldn't stand salmon so once a month i would say right i'm gonna eat a banana once a week for a month sometimes two a week it all depended how i felt same with the salmon same with the avocados and guess what At the end of that month i quite liked them some food stuff i didn't really like but you know olives i'm still a bit but i will eat olives i don't like the green olives i like black olives i don't know why but <laughs> I like green olives. And that's what I was doing. So I've got all this new range of food stuff that I can eat now. And, um, and I was just being perse persevering at it and being committed to that. And all I'm saying is having the right mental attitude, being positive about things, giving yourself positive affirmations, giving yourself a tap on the back and um, telling yourself how proud you are of yourself. Even looking in the mirror in the morning saying, you are looking good. Because those around you say, you shouldn't do that but as long as you feel good that's all that counts so give yourself a tap on the back if you've accomplished anything in the last year and when you proceed with the with your goals into 2020 give yourself a tap on the back every time you succeeded in those as well and just let me know how are you doing good it's good to share it's good to share fitbit got community you've got facebook you've got instagram you know you can find people that are doing the same thing as you to share your experiences. Fitbit is really good because it's got a community on there and everybody's in the same mindset and and they're all encouraging. So yeah, so things like that can help you as well. So on that bombshell, I shall wish you a happy new year and um, I shall talk to you again shortly. So until then, bye.